Hello Dave here. I'm out today in the back streets of Stockton, my hometown. There's a place I want to show you and I'll talk about when we get to it on the corner. The video of this one is about Stockton's buried levels. The levels that people seem to ignore and don't talk about. The reason why I'm coming this way is just to show you some of the wonderful art that's displayed around Stockton. I think that's absolutely brilliant. What I'm going to do is go down the high street here, show you a building. It's a building that it's the shambles actually in Stockton. I saw a post on a Facebook page a while back of a picture of what the shambles was going to look like, a two-storey building. But they ran out of money, I think, and it just ended up a single-storey building. But the problem I have with it, and I've known since I was a kid, I'll show you when we get out of here anyway. Uh, it's, it's a go along with Stockton's buried levels uh, that I've been looking into. And just wait till we get out here and I'll show you what I mean. <coughs> That's it. The wonderful shambles. It was a building that was built in uh, 1836, 1826. By all accounts, it was built. Uh, basically, there was a shambles there. It was old. So they ripped it down and built this place. But the problem I have. I'll just stop here a bit. You see, you look in the history books, I haven't seen a single one that says any different. It's a single story building. It's a single story brick building. Now, if you go into the grade two listed buildings, it tells you the same. It's a grade two listed building it's a single story brick building but the thing is it isn't there's a story below this one it's as big as what you see here and we'll just have a walk around the side but I do know uh, it was me almost my father-in-law used to work superintendent on the markets and part of his job was going down below this place each day because that's where things were stored. So he's stopping in its underground level. I don't know, it, it seems to be quiet. You can't find anything about it. Now this building, I do know, as I say, it has two levels. Now we even wrote away to English Heritage to ask why this building, along with several other listed buildings in Stockton, they don't register the lower levels, the buried levels. Now below here, the huge room that's down there, there's bricked up doors and windows all over. Because I believe the level below once opened up out on the street many years ago. Now, when you talk about Stockton's levels, we just spin round anyone that knows Stockton. Between here and the cross there, where I'm walking, used to be underground public toilets. Now, they're underground public toilets. There weren't, there wasn't a big hole dug for the toilets to be put down there. 
that was utilising the space that was already there. Now, what I've been thinking about with, you know, it's not just in Stockton. I've done work in Scarborough and Whitby. For some reason, a lot of buildings, when they're registered, as listed buildings, the local authorities that are listing them do not mention the law levels. But you see, you've got your bank over here. That has law levels. But if you go and look at the listing, it's a three-storey building. Well, it isn't. It's four, because there's a level below ground. Now, as you walk a bit further along the high street, well, I'll finish off on this one, that I question now, <coughs> that building, go a bit closer anyway, hopefully building over here. Now it's a grade two listed building, I think. Now what it's listed as is a single storey building. Look wrong way. Because that isn't the floor. It's just the front, the facade as such. But what I'm betting you excavate around the front of that building, you'll find another level. But it's not registered. And I just wonder why. Now I do know, because of when I was a kid, Stockton's Market used to stretch from one of the high street down there all the way down there. Hundreds of stalls. Now in the winter, all them stalls needed lights. And they used to run the light cables out of the service tunnel, which runs the full length of the high street here. Now, I've seen stories about the hidden levels, a couple of pubs where they've got bricked up doorways, but it's always the same, we're told. Uh, nobody seems to have any information, put it that way. You can ask information but it's thin on the ground well before i finish off this one i just want to you know show you you know it used to fascinate me as a kid not sure which ones they are now so pick them up You know, there is a couple of these that uh, will be utilities. Yeah, I think this is it. It's three really there. <laughs> it's a lovely day. Actual manhole covers. There they are. I knew it was. These are them. <coughs> you know, just be nice to be able to get down into these tunnels. I say to you, tell these to me. But I've heard that there is other areas 
got to leave off the tunnels. But I've walked up now. But you'd only have to take a look around for those people that are interested in this subject. Be another classic building that the Victorians claimed to have built. But when you go looking for the evidence, it's usually very thin on the ground. Anyhow, that was just a quick one on the shambles. Uh, on this wonderful high street in Stockton. Yeah. Right. Time to go. Find someone else to look at. Catch you later. Bye.